He's an actor and comedian and best known in his role in Wizards of, of Waverly, Waverly Place. Place. <laughs> and he's going to be one of our new segment stars. Yes, isn't that exciting? We're yes. featuring him in the CC on Sunrise Spotlight as he teaches us a couple of improv tricks. Ladies and gentlemen, Bill <laughs> Cott! <laughs> Hello. My timing was really off there. Oh, it was Time, all right. And timing, if you got a yeah. drum roll. I needed to wait for the drum roll, right? Then, then it's good for the rim shots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, timing is everything yes. when it comes to improv, right? And I it just is. screwed it up. Oh, so, no. So, There's so, no so. such thing as screwing it up. Oh, it's There's how no you recover, right? There's no such thing as a mistake. One of, two favorite quotes right? from Miles Davis, okay? okay? One of which is, don't fear mistakes, there are none. Ah. All right, and there's nothing more true than that in improvisation. The other thing is, is uh, when you hit a wrong note, it's the note after that that makes a decision whether oh. it's a good note or a bad note. Yeah. So. I wish I'd known that growing up playing piano. Because I don't know <laughs> a lot of that's why we need. That's why we need good partnership. <laughs> hey, here I just too, made the right? comedian laugh. <laughs> See, who yeah. needs a class? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so what are some tips? Like, how do people be funny? How I do te people be funny? <laughs> well, um, there's a whole there's a whole uh, a whole list of things. As a matter of fact, um, uh, I'm teaching a class we were talking about earlier that I'm going to be teaching at the Monrovia Public Library, and we talk about some of those things. Uh, the, the big one is um, say yes and. Those are the two most yes important and. words. Yes what, and. What do you mean? I don't now, know. Now, what this. that means is no. you always agree to an idea. Okay, so it can and be then, totally preposterous, and you just have to go with it. Yeah, that's you have to agree. You have to agree to it. <laughs> you did too yeah, bad. I and mean, then you say and you that. give a little bit more information because if you're just saying yes, you're just saying yes. Oh, I yes. forgot oh. the and part. I oh. just oh. said yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm the dumb one. So. <laughs> and we all knew that wasn't true. <laughs> uh, and, and that works in all aspects. It doesn't just work in comedy. That's why you know sometimes I teach uh, workshops for business. Sometimes I teach for nonprofits. Um, and you know, any organization can benefit from yes and thinking. Now that doesn't mean that every time somebody says, uh, let's sell candy bars to raise $2 million, that doesn't mean that we have to, have to implement that, but when we're in the planning session of it all, we can say yes and say, okay, what happens if we do that, okay? Uh, another idea we have in improv is every, uh, when you act on an idea, it reveals more about that idea. So we have to say, okay, if this happens, what else happens? What's the next logical thing? Um, another thing is you or try can to it avoid be illogical. What's that? Or can it be illogical? You know what? You'll find out most comedy is more logical than illogical. It sounds like illogic because it sounds so ridiculous that you that that it's you know common sense is one of the most ridiculous and, and <laughs> you know, you, valuable you things. You can't write some of that real stuff. That's right, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. truth is stranger than fiction. Sometimes. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Some it is. Uh -huh. And there's a great book about it uh, about comedy called Truth in Comedy. It's written by. Uh, Del Close, who was kind of like the, the, the father of, of modern improvisation, and Sharna Halpern and Kim Howard Johnson, and it's called Truth in Comedy. So, so. yeah, you know, it's um, interesting to hear this because it's kind of philosophical, you know? Like it some is. Some of the things that you're saying. Right. I'm like, I just, I just want to be funny. Like, how do I be funny, you know? You know how you be funny <laughs> is you be yourself. It's all about the first three letters of the word funny. human, you are. You I'm just made funny. us laugh, all not. right? Yeah, the first three <laughs> letters of the word humor and human are the same for a really good reason. And, and what have you been doing, Offset? You're going to make a, a rap? Yes, so and. Like, yes, and. I've been. You are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get it down, get whole, it down. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Bill's like, Jason. what are you talking about? <laughs> no, so I don't know, but I, I heard a rap, and I'm like, what? <laughs> where? where? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, we're gonna create the next Gungam style. We're gonna call it "Get It Down, Get It Down, Get It Down," because that's it's what our, our director was saying. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so how do you, how does the yes and work? Like, can you give us an example? Yes and works. Let, how about we're gonna do an improv scene okay, between okay, the good. two of you? Okay. okay good. Now the other thing I was gonna say is we try to avoid questions. All right. Uh, so just one of you say a positive declarative statement to the other one, okay? Could be anything, and then the next person will respond with the words, yes and, okay? So you have to accept what they say and add a little bit more information, and the next person, whoever started it off, will now respond to that person using the exact same words, yes and. Let's see where it takes us. Oh, okay. All right? Mary, your dress is so bright and beautiful. Yes and, what was it next? <laughs> Anything based on what she just said. So she mentioned your dress. She mentioned oh, okay. beautiful. She mentioned oh. you. Any of those things. Yes, you just say yes. And, and I am so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you for not hating me. And she's did laughing. You, know, right? you did it. Okay. You could have gone further than that. She should have said. Uh, she or she could have said. 
Uh, yes, and I don't need to hate you to realize how beautiful you are. Oh, that's right. good. Don't hate me so, because I'm beautiful. Yeah. Uh -huh, what like we do it. is people think improv is about coming up with things out of thin air. It's not. It's about coming up with what's already there in the moment. It's recognizing the gifts that are all around us, which is why it has such a great message to organizations. It's why it has such a great message, uh, like I said, to nonprofits. And, and there's a spiritual message behind it all, too. A great quote from Lao Tzu, okay? And that is, uh, if you're worried about, or if you're, if you're anxious, you're worried about the future. If you're depressed, you're worried about the past. You're full of joy when you're in the moment. Oh, I awesome. like it. Still that hot. is a great Thank way to end the segment. Thank you so much. <laughs> exactly. Looking forward to having you on on a regular basis. Looking forward to it. Yes, that'll be